What's up guys, it's Captain Weight Loss. Uh, as you can tell by the title of this video, it's about the difference between a diet and a lifestyle change, and there is a big difference between them. I thought about doing this video a few days ago, and I've been kind of excited to film it and get it out to you guys, but uh, I just wanted to make it and let you guys know that what I'm doing currently on the 100 day plan is not a long term solution and a long term way to lose weight and that's why I am only having it for the 100 days and I would classify that as a diet because it is not sustainable for the rest of my life there's no way I could eat a meal bar for lunch and drink a shake for breakfast for the rest of my life uh, right now I'm only eating about 1200 calories and they are low carb calories so that is not healthy to continue long term and I kind of just picked the 100 days because that would jump start my weight loss and the scale looks great now because it's coming off quick in the beginning and it kind of keeps you motivated to go and continue your weight loss because it, you're having so much success at the beginning. And uh, another thing I would recommend if you do want to do a diet at the beginning to jump start I would uh, use supplements to just make sure your body's getting everything that it needs. Like I take the multivitamins that you've seen in previous videos and I also take the BCAAs to help with muscle recovery since I'm working out. And uh, I can tell a big difference with the BCAAs because the first few times I was working out before I started taking them, since I wasn't getting the nutrients for my muscles to grab to recover. Uh, I would be sore for the next few days after that and now taking the BCAAs with a combination of gaining strength I'm not I'm usually not sore the next day not to the point where it like slows me down at least and uh, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't do a diet to jump start because I'm doing it myself obviously and I feel like I chose to do it kind of to train my body and train my mind both actually to quit with the bad habits that I did have the fast food and all the soda I was drinking and stuff like that if you have a strict diet and you can train yourself slowly out of that that helps a lot than just saying you're gonna eat healthy and if you know what you're eating like ahead of time you know how to plan to eat that like uh if I go to my grandparents' house or my dad's house, which is pretty far away, like I will take my meal preps with me and I will take the shakes I'll need for in the mornings and the meal bars I'll take for during lunch. Because whenever you're first starting, you need to make that the priority. You need to be able to follow your plan no matter where you're at. And, uh, and then I'm going to talk about the lifestyle change for a little bit, which is something that is sustainable for the rest of your life, which is uh, just being up and making breakfast and eating the right things for breakfast, and that just becomes a normal thing. And then you'll have your meal prep, which you can do every Sunday if you want to for however long, or you could take a week off, but you'll know what healthy choices to make. And uh, so pretty much what I just wanted to say was it's cool if you do what I'm doing right now, but that's just a jumping off point and it's not something that you want to have in your mind that you're going to be able to do forever because you're not. You're not going to be able to drink a shake for breakfast for the rest of your life. It'll, it'll just get old and then you'll fail. And once you fall off the wagon, it's really hard to get back on. So, uh... I just wanted to say if you pick a, pick a time period that you want to follow the diet, if it's 100 days, that's awesome. I wouldn't go much longer than that. But if you want to do like 30 days and then at the end of 30 days start the healthy eating instead of the meal replacement or 60 days, I wouldn't go much longer than 100 days. And I just did that long because I have so much weight to lose. And... uh so far, I'm doing really well. 
but at the end of 100 days I'll be lighter to where I can work out a lot easier and a lot safer and um, while you're working out while you're in the diet phase that is also it can get to the point where it's sort of dangerous you, you should at least have 1200 calories I wouldn't go any lower than that just because it's not safe and if you are around 1200 like I said you need to make sure that you supplement just to make sure your body can recover from working out because working out does take a lot from your body and you're not going to have much naturally in there with eating that low amount of calories but uh that pretty much does it for today uh i'm in the process of looking into getting t-shirts made for the channel and i'm gonna give them out to some of my close friends and if any of you guys on here you want one you can message me on uh, instagram or facebook or snapchat whatever however you want to get in touch with me on one of my accounts i'll be happy to get you guys one which i'll probably only get like 30 or 40 made right off the bat and then uh see where i'm going from there but uh if you guys want to follow me on any of my accounts subscribe to the channel or like this video that'd be awesome and uh thank you guys for watching i appreciate it